how to get more foreign investments, how to get best talent. I mean, like, this is continuous war, even if we don't say that. I mean, it's a war. If you want to get more revenue, more profit, you most probably need more customers. We have 1.3 million Estonians, and uh, so what is our, what are our like uh, ways to, to increase uh, our customer base? So we basically need more people. Even if, if there is a potential immigrant who wants to come to this, to this shitty weather place like Estonia, then uh, they most probably go Norway or Sweden, not to Estonia. For us, it was clear. I mean, like. If Muhammad doesn't want to come to the mountain, the mountain has to go to the Muhammad. And uh, on the same time, I mean, like, uh, we have technology. We have infrastructure to serve Estonians. We just need more Estonians. And that's where the e-residency concept comes from. I mean, like, in, in real life, in real world, you are like South Korean. But can you be in digital world, can you be Estonian? I mean, like, if you don't have those services that you need in your country available, but those are services are available location independently from another country. This is a e-resident uh, smart card. It means that government has issued you a certificate. For example, how in Estonia works is that uh, I'm entering this card to my computer uh, and then I'm logging into like say e-taxport.ee and I don't have to enter anything. I just need to click to allow to access the data to different service providers and voila, it's all there. For me, actually, to do everything, it takes 15 seconds or something. Just confirm. Because it gathers all the data automatically. No one needs to do any manual job there. Now with e-residency, we just open these gates to everybody. And everybody else can get these cards also. So it means that all the services which Estonians have been using for the last 15 years, everybody around the world can start using. And that makes the game very interesting now. So the, the philosophy behind this actually goes there that most probably there will be many, many residency type of programs all around the world. And that's normal that something you buy from Holland, something you buy from Estonia, something you buy from, 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 from Singapore, uh, that's, that's a bit, that will be a normal thing. Uh, how to get more foreign investments, how to get best talent. I mean, like, this is continuous war. Like, Estonia has, like, we have found our way to, to, to compete in this war. And, and uh, I mean, like, providing best services to the citizens and most convenient and, and, and affordable services, that's part of that war. So we will see governments competing, uh, providing like, better services. We know that together with the residency program, uh, we have lost people every year, like minus 5,000 every year. But together with the residency, now it, it turns to positive.